What's up everyone? My name is Royal Rebel, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing a C. Zovec Bulma body cosplay as well as a, a wig that I got with it. Um, so with this cosplay I bought the wig separately but the cosplay itself came with the bodysuit, the headband, the neck bow, the little bunny tail, and some tights. I actually really like C. Zovec as like a smaller plus size cosplayer. Generally I find that their cosplays can either go up to a US size 18 or 20. Currently I'm about a size 20 um, and the size I got of the cosplay is their 3XL. Now according to my measurements it might be a little small on me but it was close enough that I felt confident in trying it anyways because um, I've gotten a few cosplays from them um, and I'm actually going to think about a I have a, I have an Amazon, uh, it, I'm part of the Amazon Influencer program, so I do have the option for storefronts, and I'm working on compiling all of the cosplays I've purchased off of Amazon, so that way, like, if anyone's interested, they are all in one place, you can see the cosplays I bought, you can see how they fit me on my social media, which again, which will also be linked in the description below, but, uh, yeah, oh, I also forgot to mention, this includes the tights, I didn't mention the tights because, as a size 20 woman, I have no confidence in any tights that by default come with cosplays. I usually find that they are a one size fits all, so I'm kind of going into this mentally prepared to have to buy some separately. But I mean, there's a, there's a site called We Love Colors. I've bought in tights from them before. They are definitely size inclusive, like if you're ever looking for some colorful or fun tights, I absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pull this out real quick. We're gonna look at the pieces and then I'm gonna try them on for you guys. Okay, so starting off with the cosplay pieces themselves, I have first off the headband, which other than a little wrinkly, like the stuff is all straight out of the package, so like everything's gonna be a little wrinkly. This actually like feels like a decent headband. Like I've bought in bunny ears before because I had an idea for um, a Daisy for Mario themed uh, bunny cosplay. So up close, you're gonna like nitpick a little bit, like I can see some hot glue there, but I mean the like, the structure of the ears themselves are pretty good. And this cosplay itself was also under $50. So like, I might not have super high expectations for it, but um, overall, I really do like C. Zovac because for the price you pay, like the quality is usually pretty good. Um, so I mean like, you know, if I was doing photos and stuff like this, like this would be really good. But like, if you're gonna look up close, you can see a little bit of the hot glue, but that's really not a big deal to me. Like that's not a deal breaker. Um, I was kind of surprised to see that this came in two different pieces. I will be seeing if, uh, oh, I didn't realize it was a little alligator clip. All right, cool. So that should be easier to get on. This does have a button. And so I'm assuming it just alligator clips on like so. We're gonna have to floof it up. Sorry, I'm terrible at showing bows. <laughs> uh, the bodysuit, I'm, I feel like there, you can't mess up a lot. Oh, I did not expect the bunny tail to come on the cosplay itself. It is, oh, it's a button. Okay, so just so you guys see, there's a little button there. That's actually super helpful because um, again, when I tried to put together a uh, like a Super Mario themed bunny cosplay as Daisy, um, I actually bought like a separate set. So having to do a safety pin is kind of obnoxious, but ooh. Okay, I'm glad I I'm glad I like shapewear. Just looking through this a little bit, it, it, it does look a little thin. Um, we'll try it on to see how bad it is and then like to keep it up it's got some rubber lining on it um that's not a big deal i actually i bought a bowsette cosplay from this company and the rubber actually holds up pretty good i'm wondering if i'm missing something out of this package because it does look like there's a place for you to put hooks like if you wanted to do an invisible strap so like if you're busty like me and you want to make sure the girls stay in it does look like um if i can't find it in the package it does look like if you bought invisible straps, like it has something in the front and the back so that you can do both. So apologies if you're my cat in the background, he's yelling. <laughs> but the thing I'm most surprised about, so the tights, they actually feel like leggings. Like these are the tights. Um, they're, they're the same material, it feels like. Yeah, it's the same material as the bodysuit, which is kind of surprising. So maybe I won't have to buy additional, uh, additional tights. I mean, I still might just because I feel like the same fabric on top of each other will look weird. Like, this is what it looks like. It's it's literally the same as the bodysuit, and then it's got feet, so it's it's like tights. I was not expecting this. 
Um, but that's kind of cool. I mean, I live in I live in Michigan, so like there's cold weather all the time. This might be great for uh, you know if I go to a con in, in the winter time, which I've done before. Like my favorite cons um, around Halloween time, or it's like the first weekend of November, so there's always a chance that it's cold. So that might be useful for that. But uh, here, let me no pull out the wig. Sorry, it's been a minute since I've done like a cosplay review, so I'm like a little scattered brain. Um, so this is the wig I got. It looks, the color looks exactly like the picture, so that's always nice. Um, I find that Amazon wigs really aren't that bad. Like as long as you find a price point that's not too cheap. So for me, like I have to spend at least $20 on an Amazon wig every time I've bought one that was cheaper than that, like unless, you know, it was like a markdown sale. Um, Anytime I found one that was originally priced under $20, they were just so cheap, like they were unusable. Like imagine like a Party City wig, but like worse, <laughs> if that's even possible. But uh, let's pull this out real quick. This is, yeah, this is exactly like how I, how I imagined it. I really find with Amazon wigs, like as long as I stay above that like $20 price point, like you, you get what you see. Um, like the bangs are super nice. It's a good length. I really like this color. This is such a fun color. So like I've actually recently got into watching Dragon Ball. Like I didn't grow up watching it. So now that I'm home with my baby a lot, I've been going through and watching like classic animes. Um, so right now I'm on Dragon Ball and I mean like Dragon Ball, not Dragon Ball Z. And so far this has been a wild ride. Like <laughs> if you haven't seen it, um, the second episode, yeah, there's a scene. And I realize I'm coming at this from like, a lens as an American in 2023 where that was made in Japan in the 80s but yeah it's wild so far I really like it but only really knowing about Dragon Ball Z growing up um it wasn't what I was expecting so I'm really excited to like get into the show and then get into this cosplay with it but uh yeah now I'm gonna put everything on and we're gonna show it off as one piece all right here is the completed look you want the full turn dip so you can see the ears and then I've just got a couple things to note real quick. So there's obviously a reason I use C Zofet cosplays all the time. I love them. Like the price, the quality per price is actually really great. Um, the only thing for me, so I'm probably gonna upgrade the tights just because this material that's on the bodysuit, like I think it's fine for a bodysuit, but for me, it gives my legs a really weird feel to them. But I mean, they're kind of great. Like they give you coverage. Like if you're worried about like your underwear showing or just you want a more modern feel, these leggings are great for that. Um, I know I made a comment that the suit felt see-through when I looked at it. Um, I'm not wearing anything underneath this top. Like I don't have a bra on, I don't have shapewear on. I like kind of just seeing how it is without without anything um, on it. And it's it's not see-through at all. It's actually kind of funny. This is the same like base for my Bozak cosplay. So like it's, so I should have known how it fit, but I didn't realize it was the same until I actually got it on. Um, I would recommend getting clear straps because um, actually surprisingly, this is a little big on me. So I am assuming I'm a size 20 based on the weight I've gained since I gave birth. I'm about two months postpartum. So my body definitely isn't the same um, it was a year ago or like the last time I bought a cosplay. Um, so I'm still trying to figure out my size, but I did measure myself before I bought this. And like I said, my measurements were slightly bigger than the size chart they had on the website. So like my bust is about 48. The website had it listed as a 46. So, um, you know, you probably could fit like a 22, maybe a 24 because like of how much it stretches, like this is stretching. <laughs> So um, you might be able to get away with, a, you know, being bigger in this um, than what the size chart says. I would definitely recommend though, investing in clear straps just because like I've been in this for like 10 minutes and I'm constantly pulling this up. Um, this wig I got obviously would need a little styling. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't advertised specifically as a Bulma wig, but like, you know, she's got the more straight bangs and the side swip. So I would definitely do that. But I mean, it's a perfect color. Um, it works. I need to practice putting the bow on a little bit just because it, I'm not used to clip bows like this. But I mean, this is really decent material. It's actually like a little warm around my neck. And then again, so I'm gonna point this out because like I've, I've lost weight in the past and so like my neck is actually shrunk. So like there's room around the neck. So, you know, if that's a problem area for you, like there is there is lots of room. So you don't have to worry about it. Like I think my neck's about, is at least 15 inches if not a little bit bigger. Um, so just kind of that for reference. But I mean, you know, straight out of the box, like this really doesn't need much. Like this isn't really a material that needs 
ironing or anything like that, I would just, I would really just recommend getting clear straps. But yeah, there's the cosplay. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if you like this video and you want to see more cosplay content, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more content.